One of the first things I like to do when I'm designing a website is decide on what the background of my page or my pages is going to look like. And of course, 90 Second Website Builder makes that really easy to do. Hi again, this is Greg Hughes with another video tutorial. And in this one, I want to show you about how to add a background to your page or to your pages of your website project. If you go to the page menu here at the top, you'll see one of the features is background. And when you click on it, it presents you with several options. Now you always start off with a blank white background and that's fine. You can live with that if you want to or you can select a color and change that to whatever you want. Now today I'm not inclined to have a bright purple background so I'm going to change this back to white and show you some of the other options. Obviously you can choose any color and you're not limited to just this palette. You could choose millions of combinations. You could also add an image to your background which I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. Or you could do what's called a gradient which means to combine two colors that gradiate together. If I click on this it brings up the page properties where I can create a, a gradient that I may want to go from one color to the other and I can decide whether it goes vertical or horizontal across my page and create that kind of an effect. But again, there are other options. Let's switch back to the white background and look and see that you can also add patterns or even select from a menu of textures just by clicking on one of these textures, make that be your background. Or again, just go back to a transparent background or solid white. Now another thing you can do is you can access the background properties through the page properties. So let me click on this option here and bring up the properties for this page. When we're working with the page properties, one of those subcategories is the style of the page. And part of the style is of course the background. So this area of the page properties allows me to work with the background just like this tool does up here. Only I can be a little bit more specific about what I want to do. Let me show you what I mean. So for example, I like to use an image in my background. So I'm going to choose the image mode and then the software allows me to go grab an image. So I'm going to click on here, get an image that I want to use, open that and decide on how I want that image to be displayed. So for now I'll just click OK and show you what happens. So now I've created a background that's not very exciting because the image is really too small, isn't it? It's only about 100 pixels by 100 pixels. That doesn't make a great background. But that's OK because the page properties under the Style tab allows me to adjust the way this image is shown. Right now it's not repeating, but I could repeat it, for example, in a horizontal direction across the top of my page. And if I click OK, you'll see that the image now repeats infinitely or indefinitely no matter how big the browser window gets for this page, that background will show across the top. And I'm not just stuck with it showing across the top. Again, there's more we can do. Let's go back to Page Properties, click the Style tab, and repeat it, for example, in both directions. And now that little 100 by 100 pixel image will repeat all over the page. And now I have a solid imaged background for my website. That's again just one of many combinations. Let's try it a different way. Let's go back to the page properties, back to the style tab, and this time I want to use an image that's a little bit bigger. Here's how we do that. I'm going to click a different image. Let's go back up to my image library. By the way, I got these images from the 90 Second Website Builder members area where you have access to more than 10,000 of these and other such images. So if you're using the full version of 90 Second Website Builder, you do have access to these. Or you can, of course, use your own. I'm going to select this really large photo and use that as a background for my web page. I'll click Open. Now, one of the tricks here is I want to make sure that I tell the software to fill the page with my background. So I'm going to go like this. Fill this 100% by 100%. Rather than by pixels, I'm using percentage. So it makes the background relative or in a way responsive to the size of the browser. So now I'm going to say OK. Now here's my image and you'll notice it fills the page. But let me show you something. If we click F5 to preview this in a browser, let me demonstrate what has happened. As you can see, no matter how big I make the browser window, the image is still 100% of the background. This is basically the whole idea behind responsive web design or relative web design because the image will always be relative to the size of the window.
So this is a great new feature in 90 Second Website Builder so that you can build backgrounds like this and create, say, maybe landing pages or opt-in forms that have nice big photos. Now to do this you want to make sure you use a large photo. If you use something too small and make it big like this, of course it'll pixelate. So you want to use photos that are high quality but you can use them as a full background. So that's a great trick. Let me show you one other trick that you may not know about. It's actually not found under the backgrounds, but it still can be used as a background. I'm talking about video now. So if we were to use a video, and it doesn't matter whether you use the HTML5 video or, for example, YouTube video, you can make a video background now for your website. Let's try it just with the YouTube. It doesn't matter how big I make this box because it's going to fill the entire page. So let's double click on this and let's put in the address of the YouTube video I want to use. And I want this video to loop and I want it to auto start. I don't want to show any related videos or any info. Maybe I don't even want to show the controls. So you can decide on how you want this to show. But either way, all I've done is I've selected a YouTube video, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But here's the trick. Under layout, and again this is new in version 10, I can fill the entire browser window with this video. So let's click on that, click OK, and now let's look at our web page. If I say F5, preview my site, you'll see that the background of my web page is this video that I just pulled from YouTube. And again, I can adjust the size of the window, or the browser, and the video stays with me. Now let's close that and look at some other things. So if I make a video background, what about the foreground? Can I put things on top of that video? Well, absolutely you can. Let me show you. Let's grab an image just as an example. Let's say I put an image out here. And let's go find something that's a little bit easier to see, like maybe a Buy Now button. Let's take that, open that. So now here's, a, here's a button that will be on the foreground. Remember the video is in the background. Let's try an F5 and see what that preview is out as. As you can see, there's an image and there's the background. You have multiple options now for making backgrounds in your websites, whether you use an image, whether you use a video, whether you repeat it, or whether you use gradients. You have a number of options for creating your backgrounds now in 90 Second Website Builder.